back to my youtube channel if you're still there for the first time please like this video subscribe and watch other videos and if you're not something back for the first time thank you for coming back so today's video is a video request i got a request from a subscriber and she's like i should show there's there's this different i ventilated around february march if i'm not mistaken i'm going to insert a picture so she was asking for how to um Cut out the lace because for that particular one i cut out the lace i didn't buy the already cut lace so i'm going to be showing that in that video but this is what like the lace looks like when you buy it in full this is like one yard but this is not mine so i'm not going to be cutting but you can see i i i ventilated for someone and she brought her lace so i used it you can see all the cutting i did but for the purpose of this video, I'll be using this this white material that I have just to show like how you cut it. It's going to be the same thing, but just that this is um, the way I cut here is exactly how you should be cutting on the lace. So yeah, if you want to see that how to cut out for a two-part frontal, then keep on watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video watch other videos and i'll see you guys in the next clip so this was the one i ventilated and um, you can really tell that this is a full frontal it's a t-part right so let's get into the video so first things first um this is the material this is my pen and then my measuring tape i'm using the pen because um I can't find a marker or pencil. No, I just use a pencil, but a pencil is not going to be very visible. So I'm using that pen. And since it's not like I'm going to use the material for anything, I can easily use the pen and not worry about cleaning. So let's say we're measuring for a 13, sorry, a 12 by 4. Now, if you're measuring for anything, I for me, I actually measure extra. If I'm measuring a 13, if, if the front is supposed to be 12, I measure 13 the front is supposed to be 13 even though it can't be 13 so it can be more than 13 right um yeah or if if it's a, if it's 11 then i measure 12 that extra one inch is for the side the side um the side spaces you're supposed to leave you guys are going to see that so i'm measuring 13 right and i am marking that up and down i'll also mark the other side up and down right and then i come back now from the extra one inch i'm going to now measure my half that i'm leaving by the side so I'll, i'm also making that for the up and down and then the other part just after the top up and down it mustn't really be up to half it can be cutter but let's just leave it as half just so we don't make mistakes in our calculations now if i pull back my tape from this point here to this other point you can see that i have my 12. this is the part i am going to be ventilating on that other side the other um the extra half inches are what i am leaving out you know when your lace comes you, you always have like a part that you're not supposed to ventilate on or the already uh, made ones they come like um, um like curved like they must have sewed them together so now i just marked my middle parts which was on the six now um looking at i'm sorry measuring what i am going to be now i'm just measuring like how i'm half also that's from the beginning of the list to the point where it's going to be my hairline so i'm measuring half i got i did that half on the side and then at the middle i am doing another half and at the edge another half so from where the the lace starts to where this half starts is this is the part that is going to be left out i am not going to ventilate on that i'm going to start ventilating from the point that i made that is from where the half starts right you can see yeah so that is going to be your hairline right mm -hmm. so looking at um this looking at the video now i'm realizing that my i didn't put my tape on a straight line it's not really straight but yeah so now um we're doing a 12 by 4 now from where my hairline starts i am going to measure four and a half the extra half is for the space that i'm going to leave 
down do you understand so yeah that is my four where my ventilating ends and then the extra one is the space i am going to leave for the down parts so now i just want to measure for like how long i will i will ventilate the the top parts now i'm measuring two inches right you can it can be one and a half it can be two if it's three or two and a half i feel like it's going to be too much so now when i by the time i like um put everything together you guys are going to see what i'm talking about so yeah that is like the width of what i am going to be ventilating on do you understand for the for these 12 inches that we measured and also for these 12 inches i'm also going to sorry for these two inches i'm also going to um measure the extra half for it um i just realized that i did not um i didn't measure the extra half so i'm going to do that right now okay so before i do that i'm just going to get the the extra um spaces for the sides of this other part so now i'm measuring it's just like when you're doing a two by four right so for my two i'm measuring three because i'm going to leave half by by this side and then half by the other side so also for the um top part right i'm also measuring the extra half that i said i was supposed to do and i forgot to so this is me just marking it i just said okay let me start marking now so that you guys can get what i'm doing because all these points i'm making can be confusing and yeah you can use a ruler for this so that you can have your line straight um just because i'm showing i'm just giving an illustration i didn't bother if my line was straights or not so i'm just marking everything now so that you guys can see what i'm talking about right so now yeah that is my half we have a straight line there joining these other parts right this line now i made is where my my ventilating will stop at so now i'm going to also um mark out the extra points for um 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 the space we are living right for the down part so that we don't get confused so i'm just going to put my tape to also get a straight line now this one is where we're not going to ventilate at i just said that we're not ventilating here because if you put everything together it's going to give you two and a half so the extra half is what we are also leaving out for these other parts and then um next is to now map out the extra for the two inches down okay i hope that this thing is not confusing i really hope this is, this thing is not confusing it's not really hard anyway so i'm marking out the extra parts for this other two inches side down if you are cutting out a normal two by four you would also do this like if it's two by four you're measuring three and then for the four you're measuring one inch extra at the top and then half inch extra down so it means you're going to be measuring like five and a half okay so marking out the extra for the other size of the of the which should i say width 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 ah uh, sure marking out the extra for the two inches right we're not ventilating on this extra part it's just for you to see okay um so yeah um i'm, I'm tracing that out and then the next part i'm going to be tracing is also here I forgot to do that but yeah i'm doing it now and now we also trace out our one um our hairline right where we leave just um an inch okay like i said make sure you use a ruler if you have a ruler or something straight so that you don't um have a curved um so that your line is um perfect it's it not being like mine like i said i'm only illustrating that's why i'm not bothering i'm not bothered that uh, my line is not straight just for you to get the idea of the whole thing so guys now that you have it like this just know that now you're going to cut this way all of these parts this way right so from here to here is where you're not going to ventilate on meaning your ventilating will start from here right and it will end here now for this part, you're not ventilating on here because this is the extra space. This is the extra space you're leaving for this side and this side. This is also the extra space you're leaving for this side and this side. And extra space for here also. Okay, I'm supposed to extend this like this. 
okay so this is the extra space we're leaving for here and also for here now all of here we're ventilating and then now when you measure from here to here it's going to give you four this is also the extra space we are leaving for the down here okay so now let's measure this is now four right here to here is four and then here to here is tough i hope this thing was very much explanatory i just thought i should um 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 talk as i'm doing it at this point because i don't know if my other the previous voice notes were confusing so now when you cut all of this out when you start ventilating right and now this is your middle pattern so by the time you start ventilating maybe you could ventilate from this place like the normal backward and then when you get to here you do your pattern and then you start here you start here if you've watched my other videos on how i make a closure then we should give you the idea of how we should do here but if you're trying to do a free part then you don't have to make any um, pattern you can just continue ventilating backwards 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 then when you get here here you just continue and everything is going to go back so i hope you guys are able to understand and for the person that requested for this video i hope I hope you will really really get it. It's a lot of calculation, not really a lot of calculation, but it's just to think and you know the idea is just to make sure you have your living spaces outside, right? Because you don't want to ventilate on everything and then you're not going to have it's just like this one now. Look at this. You're not going to ventilate up to this very point, right? You're going to from here to here is what's going to give you the four so you're not ventilating up to this point so that's the space i'm talking about and then these other side spaces are what's at, at the, this is it this one's so you don't need to leave too much that's why i give half for here to here i measured 13 right and then i removed half i removed half for the size here also i i measured three for here right because it's a what it's a 12 by what by four right so for here to here it's just like here to here is this part is like a two by four do you understand so here to here is going to supposed to give you two and then here to here four so you also leave half here half here and then half down you can even leave a cutter you can leave a cutter it depends on you but i usually leave um half so by the time i i cut this now i'm not going to start cutting out from here because this is my extra space can you see this is my extra space so i'm going to cut out from here okay then by the time and then by the time i cut it out i'm going to make here into a cuff so that you don't it's not like you're ventilating in a triangular form i'm sorry a rectangular form so i'm going to cut here as a cuff and then also measure another half right so that this place gives me a cuff i can follow and then i start ventilating like this like this like that i really hope this thing is um, very very um explanatory i hope you understand and my lines are not perfect because this is just an illustration but you can use a ruler to get straight lines sorry for the noise you guys there's a school just next to my house so you can use a ruler to get your line straight and also for your marking make sure you use a pencil or something that you can easily clean off when you are done doing your markings and yeah Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.